G'day everyone and I am back today with a process video for Project Life. I'm doing week 23, I'm pretty sure it's week 23, I haven't put it in front of me here. But I'm still using my Kidacolics kit from the last video. It's got Coco Vanilla Studios You Rock is the paper kits that I'm just fiddling with right here. And that top orange one, piece of paper, sorry that I'm using as a template that is in the top left corner. Yep. That's from the cut apart sheet. This lovely kit comes with a cut apart sheet and then it also came with one page of labels, which you can see at the right of my screen here. So that was a cut apart, which is awesome because I'm going to use that as my filler card to write the week and the days that the week fell, that the days of the week. Sorry, if I can talk. So I'm using that same cut apart sheet. I don't have a lot left. As you can see, I'm just using bits and pieces here, trying to get a lot of it used up. And it's really easy. This week and last week for Project Life has been so easy to use up my extra pieces. I think it's because I've got boys. I've got two boys. So any sort of orange, blues, yellows, greens, red, orange. I said orange already. Yeah, any of those colors I can use. And I can use them really quick because it always coordinates with my photos. Usually the boys are outside and they're doing something cheeky. And all these little circles and labels and extra bits and pieces always work. So I've used Loving This Moment, 100% Original, Go See Do. Uh, these are thickers. These did not come in the sheet. As you can see, they're getting really worn out. They're quite old. Um, I'm just gluing them down with some wet glue here. I think I've used Renault Art Wet Glue for this one. And these ones, I really just want to start using them up. I've got to get them going. Um, I think they just haven't really went with a lot of the layouts I've made. So I really have to make a point now of pulling them out for every layout and going, hmm, do they feel good? Do they work with it? And I have used it in another 9 by 12 layout, which is good. And this is me just checking the date for that week. I'm just making sure I write down the right one. I just did a doodly border. I'm loving doodly borders. You'll notice on nearly everything now there is some sort of border. So I've done my border and I'm putting my enamel dots on. And these enamel dots are from the reject shop. I managed to grab five packets from my local reject shop for a dollar twenty-five. I don't know why, just my it's only my local that doesn't seem to want to stock them anymore, so they discounted them. And I got myself a bit of a bargain, so I've done really well. I'm just putting, I'm leaving all my photos I have cropped down this week. I haven't printed them at the full 6x4 or the 3x4. I only wanted to do one page for week 23. There wasn't a huge amount of photos, but I wanted to get in some journaling as well. So this way, I can do my journaling around the photos themselves. It doesn't take away from the pattern paper. I'm going to add something to the layout itself. And then my kids get to see my handwriting too if they look back in a couple of years time and want to read through it. They get to see my handwriting, what mum has done and created for us to look at. So the top one was my son Flynn. He come home from preschool this day and he decided that he was going to dig. And he got the spatula flipper out and he was digging a hole and he got his dad to have a flipper as well. And they were both holding them and they're flipping, flicking dirt over their shoulder like they're digging a hole. And the middle photos there are our bike trailer. We just bought a bicycle trailer that attaches to the back wheel. And that way we can dry it do a push bike ride up to preschool if we want to on a nice day. It's winter now so it's getting a bit cold so can't do it as much. But we've really enjoyed it. If we go on the bike up to school and back it's five kilometres which is a really good ride. There is a bit of a hill in there as well but it's a good workout. And then we've got plenty of parks and things around that we can ride to and take the boys to so it's good. And as you can see at the very end of that first second row is my minus 6.4 day. It's the first really cold morning. And then we had three of those mornings in a row. Since then, it's always been 
really more or less whatever overnight. I think it's good if we get a zero or a one <laughs> overnight. And then we got some bollards put in near our house, which we asked our council for, which I don't know, it feels nice that you ask for something from someone and you ask nicely and you go about it the right way and then it comes to fruition. I like that. It made both my husband and I feel really good because we sent an email to our local council and we spoke to a lady and she was really good about it. So it was terrific. And I'm just writing on my last Explore 4 card here and it's that my boys were so tuckered out. On this day, we've done so much, they just fell asleep. I think I'm coming up to the end here, so I'm just going to say thank you for watching. Hope you've enjoyed. I also used some wood veneer there as well. Yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll come back and see the next ones. Thank you, bye.